What's the CDC found about wearing two masks, you guys? That's what we really wanted to know here. So um, two masks is the new big thing that we've been seeing. Fit matters when it comes to your mask protecting you against the virus that causes COVID-19. A layering, a well-fitting cloth mask or a surgical mask is likely to prove beneficial, according to new findings released Wednesday by the CDC. Um, so this is stuff that we've obviously already know. They want you to have a firm-fitting mask. But why are we coming out with this information on masks a year later? Everybody already knew that the reason why masks mostly... Thank God we have the warning. See, this is why. <laughs> if you di like the mask, not only does it not filter it out, but there's holes up here, there's holes around here. You can tell when your people are smoking cigarettes. You can tell what, if you're wearing glasses and they fog up. It doesn't make any sense. Why are they pushing it all now, Eric? It might sound like a rhetorical question, but go ahead and answer that for us. Well, I have no idea why they're pushing it now. Well, they basically they want to dehumanize us. I don't know which way to go, but they want to dehumanize us. They want us all completely um, faceless and nameless. But more importantly, I think what this does is prove that masks don't work, right? Because for the better part of a year, we were told to wear a mask. And that whole year goes by and now they say, oh, wear another one. So does that mean the first one didn't work at all? And if it didn't, why are we doing it again? It's the same thing with the lockdowns, right? Like. Why would you go into a second lockdown? Because if the lockdowns worked, you wouldn't need a second lockdown. And if the lockdowns didn't work, you wouldn't need a second lockdown. So I don't know what they're doing. Um, I, we both thought that it would be over when Biden won, but clearly they're doubling down because now they have complete control. Um, I think we should go to, for three masks. I mean, <laughs> if, it's if there. Well, exactly, the yeah. a journalist was was writing about the double mask. It's not the uh, it's not the same one as this ABC article. But it, but um, I said, why not three masks? Why not a whole hazmat suit? If you actually, well, I was in the army when we got a uh, their testing for a CS gas like tear gas. We didn't just wear a mask and a face shield. It doesn't work that way. You have to go if you want to be actually consistent. You have to go full CBRN, chemical, bio, radioactive, nuclear suit, or else I'm sorry to tell you that microscopic things are going to get into you. And, and we're talking about, again, we're still talking about a thing that's over 99%, 99.5% survival rate. Mm -hmm. it, it's just that's maddening. Exactly. And this is what you guys are talking about, Midge, with the uh, with the gaslighting. It, it never seems to end. And, and these journalists, they just go right along with it. They think... Either they think they're being great people, or they're just along for the ride, and and somebody's being like, let's 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 push this through, and somebody picks it up, like the journalists who are in the Podesta emails, who just agreed to do everything that they were told. But so, it also, is it weird that we finally get this super safe and effective vaccine, and rather than say, oh, we're saved, they say, no, we're two now. Yeah. Right. We ju we ju we're just talking about the vaccine. And instead of saying, all right, let's take our foot off the gas a little bit. They double down. I mean, if that is not a sign to you it's that it's about control or humiliation. Right. It, and sometimes I, I have to imagine like when I see these stories come out, like the story that came out of China, that now they're doing uh, anal swab testing for to test more accurately for COVID-19. I have to say to myself, are, we, are they just messing with us at this point? Yeah. Are they just testing us to see how stupid are people? Like, is China testing us to say like, wow, how stupid are these Americans? Are they going to buy the story? Are they going <laughs> to run the story? Are they going to stick stuff up their butt if we put up this piece of propaganda? Uh, you know, at what point are, are does this end? Is it just going to continually get more and more absurd? I've never heard of a of a test that you have to stick a swab all the way up into your brain to see if you have it, that you can't swab the inside of someone's cheek, but it's so deadly that we have to wear two or three masks or a hazmat suit or whatever. I mean, this is absurd. So I feel like common sense would tell you that uh, I, th th this is all nonsense. I mean, and we even hear and see these videos of people talking about political theater and putting on their masks to go on TV and then taking it off when they're walking mm -hmm. around. I mean, people know that it's absurd. Uh, and, and it's sad, though, that they've got a lot of people out there brainwashed and scared of their fellow man 
uh, just to go out and live their lives. So, I, I mean, I, I don't know. When does it end? People need to just wake up yeah. and take off the mask and just go back to living their lives.